Dating sites often have a unique personality and purpose. Just like social media, if you were going to throw your photo up on Twitter versus Instagram where it's made to house photos, you're going to get a different type of engagement, right? So if you're struggling with online dating, you might be fishing in the wrong pond. I'm going to share with you five of the best sites for single professionals and I just want you to know we're going to be doing a series of these videos so that I can help you engage in different groups, dem different demographics, different websites, and make sure that you are casting a wide net, but making sure that you actually get the bites that you want. For more tips on how to take charge of your love life, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. So number one is Match.com. Why? Because they have a ton of subscribers. On top of that, if you are a busy professional, you don't have time to sit there and swipe all day. So they actually have a tool that matches you and you can type in keyword searches and find people with common interests and start writing them. As a single professional, if having a college degree and being educated is important to you, then 91% of match subscribers either have been college educated or have a degree. The second website that I recommend is Zeusk, and they actually have a behavioral matchmaking tool that's really awesome. And they'll send you matches and you can choose from. Again, they do have the search engine tool for you to take charge and write people yourselves. Unlike match.com where people can message you really, really long emails, which could be a massive turnoff by the way, uh, Zeus gives you kind of a chat experience so that you can connect with each other, not feel the pressure that you have to actually be online to write each other constantly, but you can go back and forth and create some type of banter. The whole goal is to not spend too much time on the app and meet in person. They have over 35 million users and most of them are looking for long-term relationships. The third best dating service is The League and that is an actual dating app. They do a tremendous amount of vetting looking for working professionals that are very ambitious and to the point that they link the information that they grab from you through LinkedIn. So they use that algorithm and their information to match you with other people that are within the same field or have the same personality ambition. And a really cool feature is that they offer a happy hour at 5 p.m. where they select a few matches for you to see if you guys can connect. So this app is for those serious daters that are ambitious, okay? And they do take their vetting process very seriously to the point where there are a set of rules before connecting with each other. They want to make sure that you're a serious dater and that you're going to connect correctly and not make this about a hookup. The fourth best dating service for single professionals is Elite Singles. Now Elite Singles also is an app and they also take the whole entire vetting process very seriously. 80% of their users have a bachelor's degree or above. Not to say that if you don't have a degree, you're not a professional, but if this is important to you to have an education, then this is the website you want to go to. They also pulled that most of their people are looking for a very long-term relationship. So often the singles that come and hang out on this site tend to be attractive, well-educated, ambitious, and really witty. If you've been told that you're a picky person, then Elite Singles may be a good fit for you. And finally, number five is Bumble, the dating app. Now this dating app is considered the feminist dating app. Why? because the women make the first move. Once you match with each other, it's up to the woman to actually write you within 24 hours. If the match doesn't get written to, it's gone. The men going on this dating app know that they're looking for a strong professional woman to take the lead. And 60% of Bumble matches actually turn into a date. And they have another cool feature called Bumble Biz or Bumble BFF, where you can make business connections as a woman, and on top of that, build friendships and a community Community. You never know when you're going to need that wing woman. So those are my top five suggestions for single professionals. Now I want to be clear here. There is a difference between dating apps and a dating website, right? If you don't have the time to sit there and swipe, swipe, swipe all day and get into conversations and keep that conversation going, 
obviously because you're a busy professional, then most likely you're gonna wanna do something like a Match.com or a Zeus or something like that, right? But if you do have the time to set aside, then those dating apps are absolutely wonderful. There is no wrong way to connect. Just make sure you're doing it based on the, your time constraints and what works for you. When it comes to online dating, I'm a total nerd. I love researching stats, data, what works, what doesn't. I've compiled all this information in an online dating class. I'll leave the link below. It's called How to Conquer Online Dating and Find Love in 2020. Again, if you have any questions, comments, or thoughts, please leave them below. I do respond. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.